in the news today. Lord Cameron's urging Hamas to accept what he calls a generous ceasefire package. The foreign secretary's been in Saudi Arabia calling for an end to the fighting in Gaza. The proposed deal would see a 40-day pause in fighting and the release of Palestinian prisoners as long as Israeli hostages are freed. Isle of Wight ferry prices are spiralling out of control. For island locals, it's getting more and more difficult to leave without breaking the bank. Campaign groups have been able to bring significant savings to those crossing the Solent for NHS bookings such as operations or cancer treatment, saving them up to £150 more than what they used to pay for a return ticket. A 93% increase in price since 2013 has left locals devastated. Isle of Wight MP Bob Seeley has been trying to find ways to get the island out of this crisis. Uh, something else that we could be doing is to give absolute support wherever we can to other people who are seeking to enter the market. So there's a potential third ferry operator. Uh, I think we should be absolutely publicly supporting that. I think then what you would do is very quickly, Red Funnel Whitening would successfully go bust and you would put them all in a community interest company and maybe you know restructure the entire solar ferry market. Banning phones in schools, including during break time, could mean better performance for pupils, a new report suggests. The policy exchange think tank has found classrooms where devices were locked away were twice as likely to be rated outstanding by Ofsted. Only 11% of schools said phones were not allowed on site throughout the day. Ian Mansfield from the organisation says more should follow. This is about giving kids some time during the day when they're in school, when they're meant to be studying, when they can be free from being pestered by their alerts, when they can focus on their academic studies, and when they're at break and lunch, they can engage in traditional healthy play. In local Hampshire news, a teen has been arrested after an 89-year-old man was assaulted at a Winchester bus stop. The 18-year-old was arrested on suspicion of grievous bodily harm of intent. The elderly man was reportedly pushed to the ground. He was taken to hospital where he now remains in stable condition. In Southampton, two men mugged a 19-year-old at Knife Point last Saturday morning in Hoglands Park. It is reported he was punched and kicked on the ground by the two men and that they stole his phone. The two men are in custody, having been found at the scene a short while afterwards. A family paid tribute to a local Romsey resident who had died near Hursley. Police were called just before 4am on Monday the 22nd of April to report that a vehicle had crashed on the A3090 between Hursley Road and Hook Road. It involved a red Fiat Punto, which left the carriageway and hit a tree. Anyone who may have seen the incident or has any information about it is urged to contact the police. I'm Jacob Rayner, and that's your news.